medications and antibiotics in the eyes. If you don't know about this, research it. Because this is pretty typical um, procedures in hospitals. Um, with midwives, um, like by law, they're highly recommended to do them, but I think uh, you can waver out of this. Um, what it is, is that the vitamin K shot is, basically they say that at birth, the child does not produce vitamin K, which is a blood coagulant. Um, so basically they're saying if, there's a, if, your, if your baby bleeds or if there's an inner hemorrhage or whatever, there's nothing in the blood to stop the bleeding. And it only starts, the, your, the body only starts producing it like a week after birth. So they would give a vitamin K shot to prevent that. Then the antibiotics in the eyes is, its objective is just that if the mother has any sexually transmitted diseases, um, that they're not passed along to the child while they go through your vagina, the birth canal, be more politically correct. Um, so if you know that you're you're safe on that uh, perspective, then it's it has no purpose. Um, so and basically what it does is like so it's drops of antibiotics that they put into the eyes of the newborn, and so their eyes, their vision gets very very f um, fuzzy. I mean it already is not that great when they're <laughs> when they're born, but like it blinds them a little bit for I don't know ten minutes whatever how whatever whatever length it is, um, but it's also antibiotics in their system. So, anyways, do your research. If you're comfortable with that, no problem. If you're not, if you have any issues, um, yeah, ask talk about it with your care provider. Yeah, so just to know what their what their opinion is on that on both of those um, standard processes.